Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Go ahead and click the subscribe button here. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also guys, if you guys are readers and like to read or keep up with, you know, people, journals, um, I do have a blog that is MrRenniesmithBabies.com if you want to follow me there as well. Um, so I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and my blog. So of course you guys, some of you guys have been following along with the story about baby Sasha. And I decided to go ahead and show baby Sasha and we will just continue to make this journey be about baby Sasha. So, um... I don't know I didn't do much research on it but I just the thought just came up in my head just now and so um, I probably should do more research before I throw it out there but let's just say that this baby um, will have to go through some transitions in order to become fully completed but I know you guys probably recognize these legs and um, yeah, so this is a very special baby. Of course, every baby that I make is very special. <laughs> Sometimes I get tired of hearing my own self say that. But no, I have painted about 15 of this sculpt. <laughs> and this is probably about 16 or 17. I can't even remember anymore. I stopped counting. But um, because I sold so many in the past and I never got to keep my own um, versions of them, I will have multiple versions of this sculpt in my personal collection. I'm trying not to do that so much um, as far as, you know, just having multiple of the same kit in my sculpt. I mean, in my, in my sculpt, same kit in my collection, but some I will make an exception to. So anyway, without further ado, you guys may recognize those legs. If not, you will in a minute, but baby Sasha is a She's still a baby. She's only about three months old. Um, so, yeah. So she's 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 still. I'm keeping her a baby. So, all right. So you guys, I have zoomed in as far as I could to show her feet and legs. I will do a detailed video later, or, um, of course post pictures on Instagram. Sometimes I think the quality of the pictures kind of dumb down on Instagram and Facebook, but nevertheless, um, here goes. So, and I'm sure you guys, if you don't recognize the hand, you will definitely recognize, I mean the feet, you definitely recognize the hands and there is her face. So baby Sasha is the Gabby Gale Asleep by Claire Teller. Um, this kit is very, this kit itself does have a lot of um, sentimental value to me. Um, the kit itself, just the sculpt itself, because of the fact that I did get to do the kit review on these when they first were coming out along with the prototypes. And um, so I did it with this and the Dwayne's by Claire Teller. Um, for the vinyl and so um, it was one of the first babies that I actually um, painted and um, so back then you know of course as I kept going and kept going I start to get a little bit better at it a little bit better at it and I tried to paint all different skin tones as I went but this one of course it, because it's more of my current work definitely will have more detail in it but yeah this is baby Sasha and it took me a minute to figure out like what am I gonna put her on um when I show her like how do I introduce her um because I've changed her outfits like so many times and the reason why I was saying she's gonna go through some transitions is because she doesn't have hair right now and I was going to say, maybe we could say she was born with a little bit of alopecia. <laughs> but then I was like, I haven't did research on it. I don't even know how that works. So, and she's getting implanted hair, you know. But nevertheless, um, 
we'll see how that goes in the story um of baby sasha but um she will be getting here um very soon so um we'll get her in and get her hair and get her back but she has i get, did give her wispy eyelashes and i did paint her eyebrows and so um yeah she she just need her hair and then her earrings and stuff but yeah i gave her a lot of little things so she's modeled and veins and all that great jazz and sorry for all the moving around but i hope you guys like her i love her i've spent the last few days just enjoying her um so funny story is everybody's dealing with shipping right now is kind of crazy either your stuff come a day late two days late or weeks late and i've been had glass beads on order sorry sometimes the paint bristle a little bit of it be right like on there and i'll be like oh, i gotta get it off but anyway the um um bountiful baby i'd ordered glass beads since november 21st well they were shipped since november 21st and they have not reached yet but they will be here monday in the meantime i was like i need glass beads i ran out when i waited Cody, and i found an old baby in the closet that had crazily so many beads like it was a bigger baby but just the in the body it was a big old bag of nothing but glass beads i was like what the what and I was able to weight her arms and her legs and um, to full capacity. So she's very weighted in the limbs. Her body is not as much weighted, but I actually like the way it feels, weirdly enough. But I didn't want to have to take her apart like all the way. So I went ahead and did that. And then all I have to do is take her apart because I'm going to have to take her apart anyway. I mean, the, her head off anyway, just so that she can go get rooted. And plus, I didn't put her magnet in. I don't put their magnets in a lot of times until they come back from being rooted. However, some of my personal babies don't even have magnets because if they have a certain look, I don't. And I know I'm not going to probably put pacifiers on them. I will use pacifiers just as props. So baby Ada, she doesn't have them and um, she doesn't have a magnet either. And I don't know if I'll put magnets in their mouths um, or not. But for now, they don't. Um, I just, I like them the way they are. So, um, she is going to be like the, not twin, but kind of twin. Like twin with two different daddies. <laughs> Let me stop. Um to baby Ada. They look really good together actually too. So um, I will show them together at a later date but right now I just want to introduce my little pumpkin here and um, the name Sasha is I don't know I I've always liked the name Sasha but then one of my friends nickname is Sasha and so I was like oh well she's just gonna have to be Sasha. So I think I really, really like that name. She does have some joggers that goes with this um, little outfit, but I hadn't put them on because I wanted you guys to be able to see like her little legs and stuff. But yeah, so this is my baby Sasha, the sweet baby Sasha. I am like so in love with her and I've played like I said I've been playing with her for the last couple days and I've like pick her up hold her she's very cuddly um there's a different way that I've started weighting my babies um that I like too even with with the weight with their bodies so that their legs can close easily and stuff like that sometimes I think we overstuff them and then they can't then they can't the legs and stuff can't fall properly but i'm gonna put her on her joggers just so she can be you know 
all cozy and warm because it is being cool these days and I'm gonna try not to keep changing her and let her just wear this for a while um I even she, she I bought her quite a bit of things too already so she will definitely be dressed but I probably shouldn't have put her on this yet but her and um, baby Ada is actually twinning. They have the same hat thing to match the blanket. And they both have a lavender. And so, surprisingly, they both look really good in lavender too. Um, so, yeah. So, that's 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 the way it is. This is my baby. I know some of you guys are like, ah, it's the same old cat. She keep getting the same cat over and over again. But um, I will be um, showing some other babies that I am going to be working on that are different faces that I haven't painted before. I'm also going to come January, well, February, more like February and March. Hopefully, I'm going to have some Buy It Now babies. And also, another thing that is on my brain, and I don't know um, how this is going to really work but um i'm actually possibly going to be um letting go some of my personal babies just simply because i can't keep them all and i am bringing in quite a bit of new babies um i did quite a bit of pre-orders and some of those babies i want to have in my collection and i just don't have the room to just keep all of them and plus of course i need to make some money <laughs> To make up for some of these kits that I bought as well. Um, but, and I'm really trying to work my way up to being able to buy this one particular silicone kit. To add a, another silicone baby in my collection. A sleeper, actually. And so, um, that's where I'm at. So, I don't know who will be going out for sale. But I will eventually make do process of elimination and some babies will just have to go so stay tuned for that if you're in the chat box as you know i always let you guys know earlier and sometime i offer a discount to those that are in the chat box um even if it's 50 dollars off or 100 dollars off or 200 dollars off depending on the price range of the baby um i do um try to at least give even if it's a 24 hour sale for the chatterbox like if you're in here and you're a member and you want to buy this baby the price is blah 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 so I, i'm trying to do that as well just to add little perks to people that's in the chatterbox that is supporting me you know that way so i but i do appreciate all of you guys support just watching the videos and sharing the videos and giving the videos thumbs up is a lot of support more than you know um most of all if you would just share 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 the videos and i'm trying to of course grow my platforms all of them instagram um youtube um not really facebook because i'm at my max usually i'm usually at five thousand um friends there uh i do have a group miss serenity smith doll chat club that i would like to grow i would like to start being more active in my own group so i'll probably start going there more because there's no limit on how many people are there so be, if you can't follow me on my regular page um follow me in my group and i try to post the same photos there um, sometimes I do live streams on my regular Facebook. I mean, I'm not, of course I, I can't do it in both places at the same time. So, but yeah, anyway, that is it. Thanks guys for watching. Again, let me know what you think about baby Sasha and, um, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.